Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode and marathon of Music with Nick. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I wanted to um, thank Matt for this marathon that he requested and also, of course, sponsored. So I all uh, I did a marathon a couple of days ago. I don't know which one comes out first, this one or the one we did a couple of days ago. It was very interesting. It was a lot of good stuff that I didn't know. Uh, a lot of post-rock, uh, Celtic rock, even folk rock. Really, really cool stuff that I've never uh, heard or never imagined just getting into. So it's really cool. Um to have oh my god my shirt is so <laughs> um uh, it's like it looks like it's ripped um it's uh so it's really cool to to get into this music so thank you Matt for being you know a little bit more out of outside the box with the whole approach um not everything is like to my liking but I do appreciate it because it is music that is completely different to what I listen to so it is kind of inspiring because I do come up with like ideas you know that i usually don't approach so thank you so much matt for that everyone else if you're new to the channel please do like and subscribe it does help out a, a lot and if you like the video you know thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you whatever makes you happy and satisfied so let's get into the video so today we're gonna start with some bands let's see here i got the list set up um give me one second okay so we're gonna start with uh don caballero and this is from uh the the album word class listening problem railroad cancellation that's the first song we're gonna do 2006 and this is what i like about um uh, your your decisions or your requests that are always a little bit newer, you know, more indie, a little bit more post-rock, just different. Then we're going to do the band Polvo, which means dust in Spanish, um, exploding, no, I'm sorry, exploded drawing, and we're going to do the song Fast Canoe, all right? Then we're going to do the band or artists Fara Faranquets, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, of Faranquet. This is the, uh, the song Cut Self Not, and this is The View from This Tower. This is from the year 2000. Also, the exploded drawing is from 1996. Very interesting. So yeah, with Matt, it's more in the 90s and 2000s, not so much in the 70s. And he does this on purpose, which is cool. And then we're going to listen to Roman Sakit from the album Roman Sakit, Bring On The Cobras. Awesome. Let's dive into it. Um, let's have some fun. Let's explore new music, you know. Let's get into it. Maybe, I don't know if you like it, but I do like... Uh, now and then grab the guitar and just play along or just f try and figure out a tune. Uh, I hope that doesn't bother you, but I think it's just like it gives uh, the video a little bit more just hands on, you know, uh, but I'm not trying to impress anyone. Um, not at all. Like I have some guitar videos and on the channel if you want to see me play, but this is more like to kind of explore. And sometimes there's people that don't play guitar and would like to see if certain like how does it look like how does it work why and stuff like that so if i grab the guitar if i get inspired i like to grab the guitar but not to interrupt the video just to make it a little bit more fun you know that's it okay so um but let me know matt if you'd enjoy it i'm literally asking everyone that i'm making videos for do you enjoy the guitar should i stop doing it in your specific videos I love it. I just like, I hear a lick and I'm like, if it's interesting, then I like to recreate that. Like, I don't know what happened to my shirt. I love this shirt, but it's, it's something happened to it. <laughs> okay. So let's go and start with Don Caballero. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I didn't have the headphones on, so I didn't know the volume. So here we go, Don Caballero. And here we go. Thank you. 
Like, for example, something as simple as this. How do you play this? This is obviously like a hammer on. This is like a. You see? You like hammer on. Or you can even play like. It sounds more like the song. And this is so cool about guitar music. A lot of people listen to stuff, but they don't really know how it looks like or how it works. That's what I like to sometimes do. But this is a cool lick, you know, it's very unique sounding. They're not just starting to play, it's like building up. It was in a different...
Very good. Very, very good. This is like, it's just, this is what I did in the other marathon. I was like, I've never heard something like this before. It's just music that builds more on top of each other. It's like one chord or two chords and maybe a lick. I love this, uh, what he was doing here, like the... But you know, something as simple as that, you can al already create a song and you build on top of it. And um, it's just really cool, you know, it's really different. It's more minimalistic, but it's like, it works, you know, it's just like, and the drummer was just going insane there for like, really cool, really, really cool. Um, Matt and I, we share uh, the, a love for, for surfing. And it's like a little bit like, almost like, you know, surf music um that i used to listen to when i like i mean i don't know if there's like a genre but it's more like an indie kind of thing kind of thing and uh yeah th those were the days when i would still go surfing um when i actually had big arms <laughs> and a big chest but yeah um great times i wish i could still go surfing uh but well but here with the snow, it's not possible. There is some, uh, you know, places in the world where there's lakes, oh, not, not lakes, rivers that build kind of like a, like a wave and that you can just surf on. It's like you don't really move, but you're surfing, but everything is static. It's kind of cool. Like in a, you know, like in a surf pool where you just surf and you're basically not moving. Kind of feels weird. I've never done it, but I'm sure it f must feel weird that you are surfing, but the water's just under your board kind of moving, but you're not moving forward. But um, I would totally do it. Okay, f uh, next song by Polvo, um, Fast Canoe, um, exploding, Exploded Drawing. Here we go. example like this is totally unique and i got my slide here i'm a horrible slide player but let's try it as like no wait i can i think i'm gonna oh, shoot um so yeah but it does it sounds more like a slide like <laughs> I 
like something like that but really cool unique lick that i've never heard before and that's why i like to grab the guitar not to say oh look at me you know it's just like it's it, it's it's inspiring um there you go awesome and now okay let me just go back because they started singing here and i do want to see that transition <laughs> I'm waiting. 
Okay, so yeah, so like I said, this is different music, you know, this is music that is not so structured. And I, um, if I can give you a, like an example, when I, the first like six months, I was just like, when I started playing guitar, I was just like doing my own thing, like self-taught. Then I went into music school and then basically I got kind of like in music school, they teach you basically certain rules and um, like every school. And then you come out and you play a certain way and it always has to be very like you start something and you have to have a certain type of resolution or certain kind of law to the scale because otherwise it's not harmonically correct or it, it clashes you know and i had that mentality for a lot of time so um when i started like jamming with with people that were not in school i was like the guy who was like they were like hey what are you doing you know you sound so like we're not doing classical music here you know or when I'm playing jazz, just play, you know? And I was like, well, I'm just playing, just play something like random, you know? And I remember those days so well, and they taught me a lot because I am I was so structured. I was so um, by the book, you know? The, and they, and those guys were like, just play, dude, just play something random, you know? Just play the same thing over and over again. Let's just jam, okay? don't make it so structured and i was like what well, you're right because on the bass he would be like just like and then I, instead of like you know the typical like you know i was like the guy who was like i don't know like You know, like, what are you doing, bro? Just play this. and to the drums they was like now you're playing now we're creating music like stop with this like you know that stop with the stop with the nonsense bro and i was like wow and they opened my mind you know so sometimes less is more how they say you know so and then there's guitar players who say more is more which is i i'm not gonna get into it but that's how i understood to play minimalistic music is very rich because it takes you to places you know you can trip and you don't have just you don't have to be so structured and everything so this is what i kind of like get here when i listen to matt's choices it's not structured but doesn't have to be you know to be good so love the track was very i, I was focusing a lot on the drums I was just focusing on what they were doing and it doesn't have to all be so freaking like that. It doesn't have to contain 17 chords to sound good. It can be maybe just one chord, but if you know how to apply those notes and the drums and the highs and lows and, you know, drop your volume, dude, like drop it, like play, be silent or let the other guys breathe. That's so very important, you know? So, uh, I, and I guess this is what these bands do. They're just more about, Let's just play random, you know, random stuff. So let's go now. We're going to go with Farah K. I don't know if that's correct. Or Farah Kit. Cut self not. The view from this tower. Let's check it out. Ooh. Let's just, what a cool bass intro. Let's go. Cut 
Now, this is, of course, the opposite. This is technical. This is very technical, very thought out stuff. You can hear it by the licks, by the chords. It's it's already sounding a little bit jazzy. I love it. I mean, I love everything, you know, <laughs> any kind of music. Caught up in it so opposite like totally the opposite this was all planned out very technical like almost jazz fusion like what he was doing here loved it like the whole like i don't know like the lick like it was like but really cool like the whole thing sounded very technical totally like the opposite of the other band this is just more thought out we're going to play this we're going to do this here we play this this isn't more like a composed thing instead of an improv um really cool man awesome awesome selection of tunes i'm definitely gonna follow all three of them you know like um i have like this master list it's called um music with nick on spotify i think i have it public and every song i've ever reacted to is on there so that's like what i listen to i don't want to spoil um you know too much bands but i think the farrah cats if i'm right if i'm pronouncing it correctly i'm gonna check him out this is like i like i just like very difficult stuff um okay last song the longest of them all eight minutes and 20 seconds bring out the bring on the cobras and this is from ruman sakit let's see
Matt, 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 check out, please listen to um, the band called Black Light Syndrome. And the uh, record, they only released two records. It's like a master. It's like Terry Bozio, Steve Stevens, and Tony Levin. They play this kind of music. Um, check out the uh, CD or the album Situation Dangerous. If you like this, you're going to love what you hear situation dangerous the first track is a little bit of misleading it's very heavy check the second and move on i used it for reading so good just like this just like it just builds you know really cool really cool i love this how it comes like totally it goes into chaos and cacophony and then back into like melodic beauty really cool really really different too
She's going up and down the strings like. Get it. Okay, so that was something else um, at the end. So yeah, so what I loved about this tune was it was more about the background. The whole background was very almost like it has like the satisfying feeling like when you hear stuff in the background or when you do this, like, you know, you go very close to a microphone and you like, You know, like that, I don't know what they call it, but it's like, it's even on YouTube, like a thing where people like breathe very, oh, they talk very silent. Like, you know, it's stuff like that. It's just like very nice for the senses. Like, you know, I don't know what they call it, but you'll know. And um, that's what it felt like. It was the music was very like, there was some. You know, he was using the ride and you could hear, you know, the drumsticks and he was doing this with the string, you know, like. I don't know like how he was doing it, but it sounded like that. And it was more about the background at, in the end. It's uh, very relaxing, just really cool, really cool uh, styles of music. Very, uh, four very different styles of, of music. Thank you. Thank you again, Matt, for, for you know, for um, this treat. And um, I love that you give something completely different to the channel. Um, and uh, I mean, there's so much music out there. We're never going to run out of anything to react to, to like admire or to discover. So thank you so much. This was a trip, you know, especially the last one was very cool, very long, but very different from the third one or the second one or the first one. So um, I did have a lot of fun. I grabbed my guitar four times. So there you go. Um, that's when it's, you know, when something is good or not too complex. I'm like, oh, I'd rather not uh, participate. But uh, thank you so much, Matt, for this. It was really cool. Thanks for everyone who watched this. Um, like and subscribe, you know, comment. What did you think? Did you like this kind of music? Let me know, you know. Let me know if you like it, if you hate it. I mean, everybody has their different style and their different tastes. So let's share. And uh, thank you so much for being here. See you in the next video.